Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I copy grades from Google Classroom to Power Teacher Pro using a nifty little Chrome extension called Grade Transfer. Okay, so first we're going to need the Chrome extension. It's called Grade Transfer. You can just Google it. There's the Chrome extension, and I already have it, so this is going to tell you to add it. Um, to your Chrome. So this is what we're going to be using. So just install that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my classes. And I'm specifically going to go to a class that I have two blocks of students in to show you how amazing this is. So first I'm going to go to grades. And I'm going to grab um, an assignment. So let's say I grab this one right here because I already have it graded. So I'm going to click on that specific assignment. And then I'm going to click on my Chrome extension. Now right here this little briefcase is showing the number 26. That means I've already have, I already have some stored grades in here. So I'm going to purge that first. You want to start fresh. That'll clear your storage. And then I'm just going to hit grab data. And it will bring up all of those grades. It just pulled it straight from this page that I'm on. So hit OK. So then I'm going to go over to Power Teacher Pro. And I'm going to go to that assignment. And you don't want to open up the assignment itself. So if you're in here and you're trying to use grade transfer, you, at least for me, I have to hit fill in every single time. So this works best if you're on the score sheet view. So again, I'm going to go to that assignment. I'm going to click into that assignment. So I'm on the first student there. And then I'm going to go to my grade transfer tab or the Chrome extension. And I like to have this selected um, to hold the data because I'm actually going to use this same data when I go to my fourth block class. So currently I'm in my third block class. And I'm going to hit fill data. And notice that it skipped the first student because his work was missing. And then it'll skip anybody else who has missing work. And it just pulls those grades in from Google Classroom. Okay, so it just confirms it transferred the data. So then we're going to hit save. And I'm just going to give these guys missing indicators. So now I still have that data in my Chrome extension, my grade transfer. So now I'm going to go to my fourth block class because my third and my fourth block class have the same Google Classroom. So I just pulled all that data from Google Classroom for both sections of this class. And now I just go to the grade transfer extension again and hit fill data again. And it's already got all those students in there saved. See, it's got 37 students saved in there. And there we go. And then I just like to go back and mark these missing because those are the students that haven't turned in the work yet. And there you have it. Now, one thing I recommend is if you go to do um, another assignment. So let's say I go do this one. Just make sure that you purge the data from the previous assignment first. So when you're transferring, you want this to be zero. So purge that data clear it out, then you can grab the data from this specific page. And you'll see it says nothing to grab here because I haven't graded this yet. I should probably get on that. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hope this helps.